want these asteroids to spawn forever, so we have to limit the number of asteroids that are going to spawn. And let's take care of that now. But first, before you even do that, something I probably should have mentioned in the last video, is you want this to be set here. You want this to be relative to the scene. So make sure you change that. That's relative to the scene. Got it? All right. Down here, let's do a change attribute. Change attribute. And you probably guessed it. The attribute you're going to change is self dot asteroids spawned. Okay. Now we want to fill in that expression to make it self dot asteroids spawned plus one because if it hits if it's less than three, it's going to continue to spawn. And so every time it spawns, that starts to count from one to two to three. And then once it hits three, it's not going to continue this loop. The loop will stop, and it has enough. So I'm going to change this here. So I'm going to. Put this at self dot asteroids plus one, just like that. Perfect. All right, that should do it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, set this up and see what happens. So I'm going to go to the scene, click on main, click on, and uh, I'm going to delete all these uh, that are in here. Now these are asteroids that I put in in the beginning when I was doing asteroids on my own. Now we're going to have the computer generate the asteroids for us. So now I'll go to actor and I'll put in game controller to sort of stick it right there. And you can see it's visible right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it visible for now, but later you'll want to change this to zero, right? Alpha to zero so it disappears. Otherwise, it looks kind of lame. But let's just leave it there for now and let's hit uh, play and see what happens. There you go. Look at that. We got three asteroids that showed up right there. Pretty neat. That did that automatically for me. So I'm going to go back now and make sure that this actor, this game controller actor, that's alpha is zero there, as you can see right there. And then when I hit play, the asteroids will just show up like that. And you see how they showed up just in this kind of area over here? Remember when we were setting the random, we set the limits to 612 and 964 for the X and 100 by 688 for the Y. And when we go into our scene, we can see that the width is 1024, so we set it kind of here, and the 768 is uh, the height up and down, and we set it from like 100 to right about there. All right, give that a try.